first one of the day. Sorry if we got bad audio, it's kind of windy out here. Welcome to another episode of JKV Outdoors. We are out here today doing some crappie fishing. And uh, I just caught that one with my ice jig. This is a Wonder Bread with a one inch gulp minnow. We're just doing some bobber action today. I got a bobber with a five foot leader and uh, we'll go ahead and let this one go. Proud to announce we've partnered up with Fox River Rods. And uh, this is my new Fox River Rod right here. This is the spinning one. I paired it up with the Fluger President XT. It's a great rod, well balanced. If it feels like it's a really good walleye rod, I have the seven foot medium, which is my, you know, all around go-to rod for anything. In the summertime, I'll be using this for bass. I used this one for walleye um, and it was pretty good. You know, I could feel the jig and all that. Sadly, I did not catch a walleye. Anyways, today, using it for crappie, you know, I'm not needing to feel any sensitivity at all since we are doing bobber action. So it's a great rod it's handling the fight so far. So yeah, if you guys want to get your own Fox River rods, I have a I have a coupon code down below. You could go ahead and check out their website. It's JKV10. You'll go ahead and get 10% off Fox River Rods. I partnered up with Fox River Rods to bring you guys the discount code. So go ahead and enjoy that. All right, we're out here in Lake Minnetonka. Let's go. Oh. Feels good to be out. There we go. Found it. The first fish of the day. Found it. First fish of the day for Cody right here. Little guy. Yeah. Cody, what are you using, Cody? I don't know where you guys call this, but it's a using this. Power bait. Looks like a gulp. So Cody's got it. Got the first one here. It's a little small one. It's a little bit windy. I'm sorry if you don't hear us. He's got a big power bait. It looks like a two inch power bait. Yeah. I have a one inch power bait on right now. They're up super shallow. We're sitting at about 13 feet and we're casting it all the way up to about five feet. Now all we're doing is just letting the bobber sit and let the bait sink all the way to the bottom. It seems like, you know, they're kind of cold, kind of slow still, kind of holding up on the bottom. We'll just kind of finesse them, see how they do. Stay tuned. My first one of the day, caught that one with my ice jig. This is a Wonder Bread with a one inch gulp minnow. Go ahead and let this one go.
months of the year. I was hoping this was going to be a two pound copy. We are back at my spot from last year. This is the uh, this is the spot that I was out by myself. I like it because got you just throw it up and then let the wind push it back down to you here. And that's where y'all they all hit. Damn, this one's been called multiple times. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try these. We've been using Power Big Gulp, but we never used these before. These are the crappie nibbles. We're gonna see how these ones do. This one is the uh, original scent. It's supposed to be a, a shad scent. So I don't know how many to use. I'm just gonna go ahead and put two on there. These are like little marshmallows. I'm just gonna do it like that. See how it works. of putting a new one on every every fish. There's too many fish right now. bobbers out five feet away from our jigs and we're just letting it sit to be honest um, and then occasionally giving it a little bit of a twitch just for movement other than that we've just been letting it sit as soon as we throw it to the spot you know we just let it sit let the jig go all the way down that's when they start biting and this is when you really want to get those rocket bobbers the rocket bobbers they lay on their side any sort of nibble it's gonna tip up just a little and you'll you'll be able to tell because these are such light bites you're not gonna see the whole bobber go down these fish are still you know pretty lethargic they're still you know, not too active their bites are still kind of slow still kind of small bites and we're facing against the wind we're throwing towards the wind and we're letting the wind blow our bobber coming back to us and 
you know it's just blowing right over those weed lines we're right in the weed edges here and you know we're just fishing the shallower part of the weed edge the deeper part and it doesn't matter where we throw we're, we're getting them we are right back at the same spot i was at last year when i was here by myself during this time as well and then during the time of day this is when they're biting as well it's just been non-stop action so far since we got here um, so it's been it's been pretty great we're gonna keep on fishing see how we do dock and uh, we got a little bit of a surprise for you here we are picking up two fishermen two famous fishermen <laughs> one's a youtuber one's a good professional fly fisherman <laughs> one's a lure maker <laughs> we had a feeling that you guys are out here too <laughs> <laughs> it's a leaf JK <laughs> You saw? Okay. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> the whole gang are here. There we go. Let's go, guys. We got Lee from Wild Urban Adventures right here. We also got Saul from Get Two Tackles with us today. We just picked them up. Get, getting them on some action right there. Look at that. First cast. First cast. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, they're all hugging the bottom. Probably gotta go deeper though. Yeah, JK, keep me with this video's going. And yeah, oh, look at this. There we go. There, right in your middle of your intro. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Good intro right there. Oh, yeah, look at this. Nice. Good size, too. Oh, we got one. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That was a weird hook set, too, man. What is this? Double up. Double hook. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at this dude. No wake, bro. It's the whole stretch. You can't oh, do this. Stretch. Yeah, this bay, that bay. Okay. You can't do that. Dude, he would have gotten in trouble, man. Yeah. Lucky that shirt didn't sit over here somewhere. We are back at the boat launch. That was a pretty good outing there. We probably caught over 200 fish or so. That was a lot. Um, but yeah, we're all here. We only kept, you know, five each maybe. But thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one.